All right, 3D photography. This video is just going to be quickly going over how to take a 3D photo and how to put it on the computer and then how to view it. There's more information on the ebook if you want to know about all the stuff. But we can take the photo in four different ways. Uh, there's a little lens attachment that you can put on the front of your DSLR. Another thing you can do is just get a 3D stereoscopic camera. This will it has two separate lenses, so the image quality will be better. And the next way to do it is just to do it with one DSLR. You can take two pictures side by side and then combine them later on the computer. And then the final way to do it is to use two dual SLRs, the same exact camera and the same exact lens, and just mount them on a tripod bar side by side. And when you're taking the picture, no matter what, uh, you're going to want the separation for each image to be about... 2.5 inches around that area. The reason why is because um, the human eyes are separated by about 2.5 inches. Now for post-processing the images you're going to want to go to this website and take a look at the software. There's tons of free software. We can now combine those two pictures together that we just took with our 3D setup and view them in different ways. The first way is to use 3D anaglyph glasses. This is where you have a scion lens on the right eye and a red lens on the left eye. Uh, what you're actually seeing is two images projected on top of one another. And the next way to view 3D pictures is to simply cross your eyes. Now this is very simple. All you have to do is place the left image on the right side and place the right image on the left side. Just place those images side by side and then stare at them cross-eyed. Now the next viewing method is called parallel view. So instead of crossing your eyes, what you're actually going to do is look ahead so your eyes look out into the distance and they're they're straight on. It's kind of the opposite of cross-eyed view. You're just looking straight ahead and the image in front of you is about a foot or so in front of you but your eyes are being focused um, out in the distance and you'll see that when you do this uh, you will actually see three images once your eyes refocus and the one in the middle is going to be both of the images crossed over. That's the one that's going to be in focus and the one that you're going to be looking at that you can see in 3D. The very last way to do this is to just take both images, the left and right image, and then flash them back and forth very quickly. You can do this by creating an animated GIF, and it's just that simple. You just flash it back and forth very quickly. And you don't need any special viewing equipment, or and you also don't need to cross your eyes for that. So it's pretty easy, and that's that. For more information, be sure to check out the ebook in this chapter.